I'll tell y'all. Good morning, good morning. Uh, Monday morning, y'all. Uh, Ten minutes to eight. Uh, just got out here. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna be back to one hundred percent this week, uh, and then some. Uh, there's a couple of uh, things that have come up. Uh, well, I've had a couple of people. Uh, well. That's what happens when you get to this time of year. Uh, you're not uh, as needed, right? Um, that's why I always make sure I get all my money from these people before we start getting into October. Uh, and I knew that when I took her home, she's my neighbor, uh, I knew that, that it was gonna be a limited time series. Uh, and that's okay, but she did real good all through the summer. And I don't mind you know, uh, doing work for my neighbors, but it ain't my favorite, especially the neighbors that are immediate around me. Now, in my neighborhood, that's different, but the ones that are that actually live across the street and stuff, uh, I don't really like doing the, those properties uh, for the mob. Do them, but I don't like to because uh, what ends up happening is they always end up, uh, well, when it gets like this, they don't want me to come no more. So you have to know that when you take them on and know that you would not even take them on if they weren't across the street from you. If, if she lived anywhere else, I wouldn't be cutting her grass because of the way she, uh, well, the way she conducts business, man. I don't, <clears throat> she's a renter too, so. And being a renter, you, 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 well, you're gonna, that's what you're gonna have. She's gonna let this rain, let the grass grow, and then she's gonna call me, you know, at the end of October talking about hey can you come do the yard i just had to weigh that at that moment man uh so so uh on the list today there's a little more than 800 uh, uh and we've been we've been able to uh, over the course of the last well two weeks we've really been ducking and dodging uh making sure that we stay busy um Gonna go outside the box some this week though. Uh, just because it ain't on the list don't mean we're not gonna do it. Because there's a lot of unknowns at this moment right now on Monday morning at eight o'clock. Uh, but I know for sure these are the ones we're gonna do. Now over here where we do three on, right next door to each other. Uh, he said one of, one of them is having carpet uh, put in his house today. So he's like, uh, Hey, uh, if you don't mind, I don't mind. Uh, if they're not, if it, they're in your way, so he said they was gonna be there at eight o'clock. But you know, I know they probably won't be. Uh, that ain't how things roll anymore. People don't get started like that anymore. You know, I can remember when I was coming up, we'd be at the job at seven thirty, uh, doing whatever job it was, whatever it may be, outside, inside. You know. Um, but I don't normally see a lot of people uh, at somebody's house this early uh, doing carpet, you know, install. Uh, but, you know, hey, every contractor is different, man. I could pull up over there and they could have four trucks over there. And if that's the case, then what we'll do is we'll do the two. And then since he's in my neighborhood, it's not a great big deal. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go on over here and get started, man. Uh, Jess is on his way. Let me, let me text him. Tell them to come to the first one. Winter's coming, y'all. Uh, it's not. It's not even. Look, it's not even going to get 80 degrees today. I'll go on here. I'm going to look down there. I like to go around, and yeah, there ain't nobody down there yet. So I'm just not going to park in front of the uh, in front of the house. We'll just leave that house open. I'll hop on the mower, go and start cutting that one. I knew it was gonna be like that. I got customers all the time saying, well, yeah, they're gonna be here at eight, but all the time on all kinds of services. I, but I rarely tell, tell a time, but they know they're first ones on the list. So if they're the first ones on the list, then but we ought to have a really good week this week, y'all. There's not supposed to be rain, and we had enough rain uh, over the last three or four days to where, man, it could easily be a 5k week this week good i picked up another job you know that uh that 
that trim it, that clean up trim job. But I won't have time this week to do it, man. See, there ain't nobody over there. I knew it was gonna be like that. See, if you can't count on another contractor, man. I'm telling you, you can't. These contractors, man, out here, they, whether it's it's uh, lawn guys or whatever, plumber, electrician, whatever, when they tell you eight o'clock, that don't mean nothing. It don't, that don't mean, that means absolutely nothing. But I'm not gonna park in front of his house. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna hop, I'm gonna hop on the mower going over here and start cutting his deuces. Okay, y'all. So here we go. Uh, just kind of wanted to show y'all. Uh, these are the first three that we're doing. Uh, and yeah. Uh, but I want to show y'all the kind of the kind of difference. Uh, that little rain makes. Oh, you can't hardly see it when you're on the grass, but I want y'all to. I want y'all to look. I come by here uh, Thursday afternoon, and there was no growth. Uh, we got the rain. I mean, it was raining, you know, but we haven't had no sun or nothing. And look at these yards. This is what I'm talking about with uh, trashy grass. It, it'll green up so good. It's 75 degrees right now. We could do, I could do $10,000 worth of work uh, when it's a, uh, 75 degrees, 70 degrees. It doesn't get any better. Uh, so we always talk about how hot it is and how dry it's been. But this week right here, we ought to be able to hit five or six K this week, just me and him, right? Uh, really easy. So uh, that's the goal. Uh, I got I got yards for days, but you don't really know what you got until you actually get on the jobs on the first couple to see how things are fill on the ground. How much water did we really get? You don't really know that until you actually put a mower on the ground. Uh, I know that it's been three weeks since we was over here, and when I came by here two weeks after two weeks, there was no growth at all. And now we are well. Y'all see it. So, again, on the first one over there, not the one he's at right now, but the other one, they were having carpet people, and I told y'all, uh, the carpet people supposed to be there at eight. As a contractor, man, I never tell somebody what time I'm gonna be there. Not ever, especially on the lawn maintenance stuff. I never tell nobody exactly what time. I'll say 8.30ish, 8ish, 9ish, you know, something like that, before lunch, after lunch. I never commit to a time. Y'all see the, the carpet contractor that's supposed to be at his house over there. See, they told him eight o'clock because well, they're trying to secure the job and all that. And now they're, they're back, it's backfiring on them. You don't ever, you know, uh, I don't know, oversell and then under commit, you know. <laughs> uh, I always uh, undersell and then overcommit. That's what I do. So, uh, but we're going to be at $230 just on these three. And, I mean, dude, this is sweet. So, uh, trying to fit, if I can put y'all somewhere where y'all can get a whole good shot of the whole yard, but I don't really see a place. Because there's a few leaves and having a flap down, 
makes it where uh, well, it mulches it up a little bit better. Uh, about time to go to some mulching blades. Uh, I will do that. Let's get through this week. And uh, usually about the first week of October, I'll start doing mulching blades. All right, y'all. So we got done with these three. Shoot, not even a. I want to say it's a right around nine, man. Uh, nine fifteen. Uh, he's all. He's been gone for ten minutes. He's on to the next one. So uh, these are looking really good. Y'all know. Y'all see them, man. Y'all see these Laser ZX series mowers, man. They ain't no joke, man. These mowers are freaking awesome. And these are the tires I got. So, they're the Cooper, Discovery, Stronghold, uh, yeah, uh, well, I'm not really into tires, like I said, but uh, that's what they are, and I got four of them, brand new. Okay, y'all, so, uh, yeah, uh, moving right along, man, moving right along, so we got those three done, what is that? That's 210 right there. So 915. I got over there about 815. So that's if you want to break it down by the hour, that's two hundred dollars an hour. Really two hundred uh well I mean that's hundred and five dollars per hour. So uh because we had well we had two guys. Uh we're gonna and, and this one over here is gonna be stupid easy too, and I might go on and do Kathy's as well. She's one of the ones that always want to, she likes to play a lot of, a lot of games. So I might end up doing hers too. She ain't on the list, but uh, she's, yeah, it's been four weeks. So uh, I'm gonna pull in her, cause he's on this one right here. So we're gonna be at right around uh, 350 or so before we even leave my neighborhood. We're getting them all, we're getting them all in. Now, so uh, I'm gonna go over here and cut this front yard and then I'm gonna come back over here and, and cut, well, I might just go and cut this one with him because I can weed eat this one in less than five minutes, man. You don't have to, I gotta see, all right, man. Okay guys, so uh, I incorporated uh, the other one. See, I think I'm gonna go out there and do the two by the interstate by myself because that'll make it, that'll save us time. And then maybe we can incorporate. Let me tell him what to do. See, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to damn get it done today, man, because I wanna try to get more money than normal. So, uh, but we gotta make good time on everything. We can't be 
you know, trimming around, doing things twice and doing things like, uh, well, like, well, like I don't normally do. I want to, everything needs to just, you know, working hard ain't worth a damn if it ain't working smart. You got to work smart, man, everything you do. And I've got this shit down to a science. If the guys that come out here and they just do everything exactly like I say, then they'll see they don't have to work as hard and they'll make more money. I know I say that all the time, but that's the that's the truth, man. So, uh, all the way down to the to the method that you use the mow. I want guys to go around and around. I don't want them to go back and forth. Because back and forth is how you miss stuff. <clears throat> so, every little five minutes here, two minutes there, three minutes there, all that means something. When you're trying to get a lot done so we can make more money we the list is what the list uh it's a given we're gonna get this done but can we do more than than the list i want to so my guy can make more you know uh but if we don't get to it we don't get to it there's only a, a certain amount of time that i'm gonna be out out here in the in the in the mix so we gotta seize that moment man so I need to fill this mower up. Deuces. Just got put $50 in fuel in uh, what? Three of the mowers? Uh, yeah, three mowers. $50 in fuel. Uh, hell, mine was almost mine. The light was on. One of them's on my trailer that, I, that we're not even hardly using. Uh, I think I'm going to go out by the interstate and do them by myself. I'm going to leave him over here uh, to do uh, these ones over here. Uh, but he's got to be real careful, man. Uh, almost come out better sending him to the interstate but uh he hasn't never cut that roadside at the interstate so i mean yeah and it's, it's pretty sketchy so um, I'm, I'm 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 debating on which way to do this uh for us to do more work though we we ought to be able uh, i need to go out there by myself or yeah they're not that hard of properties really uh, so maybe i'll just go do them by myself and i need to go out there by myself or yeah they're not that hard of properties really uh, so maybe i'll just go do them by myself and let's see so i've already uh, i've already done one extra one well he was late so by the time he got here, I was already had, I'd already weed eaten and damn near cut one whole one that we started on. So I had to incorporate another one on the schedule for the money to work out right. So I ain't gave up on trying to get guys to, to, to be at work on time. I didn't gave up. Uh, and this time of year, it's not a huge, huge ordeal if you get here, you know, at 8 or 8 30 or whatever. It's not, you know, I mean, but he can be. I mean, it just, you know, I like to get started at eight or earlier. But go over here and get, get him going on these because these are, uh, well, it's a couple big ones. And, uh, yeah. And then, see, when I get back from the interstate, he'll be about done. And then we'll be, I mean, then we might be able to go out and do that other. He can make another thirty dollars on the day. I mean, if we can get done, yeah. It's not even eleven o'clock yet. And we're at what? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, it's like four hundred and a quarter. So four thirty, something like that. But see, once I get going, y'all, especially with weather like this, and I know that we that, that the more we do, the more we're actually going to make, and it's not going to kill us. And if we can just save a few minutes on each one, then we can do a whole other property or two. And then I'm willing to pay more money if that's the case, but get off at the same time. We've got to be able to, uh, yeah, so... See, all three of these over here for that he can be doing, and it's mostly mowing. And the ones I'm going to, 
out by the interstate, well, it might not even be the best day to do them, but well, I'm going to do them today uh, because. pay good and they need doing and it's and I haven't ventured off there every two weeks on those yet they've been every two weeks so uh, it's gonna be a little damp over there but that's all right and it doesn't have to you know there's not everything's not hardcore growing well my guy does good man he does good uh, once he will once he picks up everything that I'm putting down he's gonna see that he doesn't have to work nearly as hard that's the biggest thing out here but most of the time when guys come out here they want to well, they want to overcome everything with labor, and I, I don't. I don't. That's, I'm, the, I'm the, you know, I'm the direct opposite of that. But see, I'm the direct opposite of, of uh, overcoming with labor. That's not what I want to do. You know, sometimes you have to. Yeah. Hope everybody had a good weekend, man. I, I did watching the rain, working in the shop some. Uh, I got a little bit of footage of some things I did, but. Uh, I, I, I don't know if uh, if it's any good footage or anything. So, well, see if me and him can can get done with this route, then we can go do another one that I got that I'm supposed to be doing over the weekend. And the dude called me and told me it was too wet and all that. Okay, y'all, I gotta tell him what to do. Okay, y'all. So uh, I got him going on this, on this one, this, and these are big ones. So. Yeah, man. Uh, so my mechanic over here, yeah, we're gonna do his place too, and uh, do a shop. And he told me he said our dog died. Man, that's devastating, dude. It's a shop dog that they had, man. It's a good dog. I love that little dog. Well, it was a big dog. Love that big dog, man. I feel sorry for my buddy, man. I bet he's freaking going through hell. It's rough losing a dog, man. It's like losing a family member to me. Uh, I've had family members where I lost and, and wasn't as devastated as uh, losing a dog. My dog, oh my God. I'm going up here to the interstate and do that one, those two. Uh, do a little spraying, because now, now is the time that you would spray. Because there's, the, there's a lot of groundwater, and if you spray now, you, it's going to work really good, really good. Rather we get more rain or not, just the, I mean we've gotten a lot of rain, so it's, it's always to me if you want the best bang for your buck, you, you spray right after it rains, or spray and then a little rain uh, after it sits on there for a minute. But I kind of like you know. The, after a rain not just any rain but because the weeds are really growing crazy right now so but this is going to be the best way for us to get the most done because when I get back he'll be done with that and, 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 and it'll be like 1230 so well, my guy Justin he's really catching on to everything uh He's seeing what I'm saying. I'm like, dude, we need, if we can get blah, 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 blah done, it's a given. This is my thinking always. It's a given we're going to get done on the list, what we need to get done on the list. That's a mandatory minimum right here. That's what that is. So uh, anything more than the list, everybody makes more money. Me, the business, my guy, everybody. So... See, normally the one extra one that I want to do today, I would have done on Saturday, but I didn't. Instead, on Saturday, I did. I fixed those, uh, those carts that I was telling you guys about. I didn't get no video of it because it was kind of lame. So, but these out here don't really require two people. They really don't. Uh, even in the heat of the summer. I've had my guy come out here just because he doesn't know the other properties. So when guys come out here to begin with, I have to, they have to kind of hang with me. But see, like now, I'm so grateful and thankful 
that he's been driving that truck, even though it's been a little bit of a waste, I will say, you know, a small, small, small price to pay for the learning curve. And he's, uh, now he's pretty comfortable in the truck. So now, if he'd been in the truck with me all along, all this time, then I would be very uncomfortable saying, hey man, go do these four properties, uh, you know, because he hasn't been, he hasn't driven to them. And he has, you know, there's a lot of things that that you don't get when you're a, a, a rider, you know, that you get when you're a driver. When you're the driver, you you have to kind of, well, you know, you got to drive and you got to plot and plan a little bit better. And, and well, you got to be on task. We're trying to make top dollar. I said top dollar. We ain't trying to make get by. We're trying to make top dollar, man. We're gonna get back some of that money that we that I've spent, and some of the money that we uh, not actually really lost. Uh, because, well, we did lose. We, I mean, we did lose some <laughs> for sure. It's gonna catch up. It's gonna catch up with us too. Because uh, now the the efficiency and the density is all freaking over the place. I said all over the place, man. But Jessen does a real good job, man. He really does. He does a real good job. Very good. So, But see, if I send him out here, he, I don't think he's ready for the... He could do it, but I don't know that he could do it in a timely fashion like I can. Y'all see, I don't play. I mean, well, I know exactly what the expectations are. I pull up out here, jump on the mower, wop, 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 I'm done. There won't be no waste of time. None. I won't have to be thinking about, you know, what to cut and, and what not to cut and all that. See, he would have to think about all that. I, I won't. I got the little blower and a weed eater on the mower with me. I'm a bad boy. Bad boy with that. Yeah. Because the leaves ain't started falling yet, as you can tell as you look around. Uh, so... We in that sweet spot. Y'all know all about that sweet spot. We in that sweet spot right now. Uh, and we'll be for the probably the next two cuts. In the middle of October. So, okay, y'all, I'm pulling up. y'all so uh yeah <laughs> the belt broke on the, on the mower that he's on and I got the belt with me so so much for our efficiency I mean every time I turn around it's something breaking man you can't make no money man freaking killing me man and he's been sitting around for 20 minutes because I didn't answer the phone, but I've, I've been working, so I had to get those two done no matter what. Next logical thing to do is to start weeding. That's what you do. When the mower goes down, and you know you got three more, pro two more properties, you need to go on to weed eat those other two properties. Pure and simple. Yeah. So he's not going to be done over here. It's going to knock us out of the damn extra money. And I knew when I left, I should have left that other mower here. He probably didn't even get done with one of the properties, much less three of them. So that's going to knock us way late, man. Hell, we, hell we're not even going to hardly be able to get done with everything that we need to get done. Because I'm only going to work so many hours out here, so we got to be super efficient during those hours. If we're not, then we don't make as much money. So, and yeah, I could go. Uh, I mean, I got four mowers, so. But he only has one, so he can only haul one. So, damn. Ain't nobody 
everybody's fault. It's just the things that happen. But I did notice that bell last week. Uh, well, not last week, but over the weekend when I was moving the mowers around, that that bell had some cracks in it. And I told myself, I said, yeah, uh, that bell, that bell, I wouldn't be surprised that bell don't go at any moment. So, see, that that works me a lot harder when, it, when things like that happen because if I'd have known that was going to happen, then hell, he could have come out here with me. And it's such a big cut over there that you, you, you can only do it so fast with two mowers. You know, one mower, you know, with me being over here, being able to cut that at the same time, you know, and, and me driving and all, then, you know, you can get as much done just mowing. All If it just stayed on the mower running the mower, then that would have been, uh, well, that would have been the best thing to do. Because there's not a lot of weed eating, and we can spray too, so. Uh, it's fucked up, man. It's the nature of it, though. See, I was expecting to get back over here and him be about done. And he's not even, and, and, and see how one little thing can. Right, he ought to have an extra belt. Well. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. I mean, been through more bells this year than I've ever been, and, and, and yeah. I know the other guy that was out here, uh, he was real bad about it. He'd turn the blaze on and off. I mean, he'd do that constantly all day long, you know. I try to mow everything, load the trailer up. I don't turn the mower off and all, on and all, on and off and all that. When I pull back up to the truck, when I'm done, I, 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 there ain't no turning the mower off. It's, it's load, it, load it up, be done. But I make sure that when I unload the mower, that everything's out of the way so I can streamline and go right back up on the trailer. The other guy I had out here, he, he was the world's worst. He'd had to, I mean, yeah, he, he, he would get off the mower and uh, you know, be done with the yard, get off the mower, turn the mower off, not even load it up, turn the mower off, This right here is gonna screw us up. So there's always gonna be stuff out here breaking. Always. If you, if you go a week without breaking something, you're doing good in my world. Or something going messing up or something. But see, the way it ought to be now when I get over here, if he had, you know, now he'll know the next time he'll know. Hey, if a bell breaks or anything goes down, you just keep moving. Don't go on and weed eat everywhere. You got two properties that are right there. You're, you're supposed to be doing all three of them. We are. So if the belt breaks on the first one, then you go on and, and, and you go on to the second and third one and you weed eat everything. So when I do get over here, we're, mow, we're straight mowing. Mower, mower. With two mowers running wide open on everything. Instead of sitting around waiting and then I get over here and then only one mower's running because the way he ain't weed eat it yet. See? You gotta be thinking or think, because it's just gonna happen all the time. And we haven't been working out here that long together, so he doesn't really know uh, my thinking process, you know, all the way yet. But he's picking it up pretty good. But that to me is just, you know, that that's just what I do. I don't know what anybody else would do. I'm always thinking about we need it. We need to. Okay, if something happens, if a weed eater goes down, you don't sit there and wait on the weed eater to get fixed. You go, you start mowing. If the mower goes down, you don't wait on the mower to get fixed. You, you, you don't wait on me to show back up. Go on and do everything that you can. Uh, especially, you know, I led him in a scenario where he wasn't going to run out of work. There was plenty to do. You know, might not have been in the order that we needed, that we wanted to do it in, but if, but it'll work. We got football tonight, y'all. In Atlanta, Dirty Birds. If we can win that game tonight, I would be just... That'll make my week, y'all. That'll make all this seem like nothing.
okay y'all so uh it's 15 minutes to two and that's what we did today i don't know if y'all can see that or not 9 40. so and i did not do the one in gay georgia uh, i had 165 in spraying today so uh that's pretty good though we broke we did break a belt Part of me wants to go on out there and do that one. I really need to do that one. But I think I'm gonna wait, man. It's, uh, it just ain't smart to go out there with one person, and it it ain't it ain't hardly unless you just ain't got nothing else to do. And it ain't hardly lucrative enough to go out there with two people. It's right at the border of of how far I go uh, versus how long it takes versus what it pays, you know. And anytime I ever send anybody else out there by themselves, it takes them forever. I mean, I'm, I mean, they're damn near not making nothing. Uh, you got to stay on task out there. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go in the house. I hear my pup pup calling me, and I hear her barking. And uh, me and the wife just gonna chill, man, and uh, maybe watch some. Uh, some bearing sea gold or something, you know? One of the shows that I like. Deuces!